Hey guys, let's understand the segmentation analysis as strategic framework for value chain analysis. A single industry might be a collection of different market segments. Motor vehicle industry, for example, can be seen as a composite of tire, glass, battery, metals, etc. Not all firms in an industry participate in all segments. The structural characteristics of different industry segments need to be examined. This analysis will reveal the competitive advantages or disadvantages of different segments. A firm may use this information to decide to exit the segment, to enter a segment, reconfigure one or more segments, or embark on a cost reduction or differentiation programs. To analyze the segmentation, there are five stages. Let's understand one by one. First stage is to identify segmentation variables and categories. An industry might be divided into multiple segments depending upon the nature and complexity of the industry. The segmentation could be based on the nature of products or geographies or customers. For example, electronic industry where Products like cell phones, television, computer, etc. are product segmentation of industry. For ice cream manufacturer, hot to cool places can be geographical segmentation. And for textile industry, gender-based or age group-based segmentation is customer segmentation. Understood? Construct a segmentation matrix is the second stage. After the segments are identified, a segmentation matrix, generally two-way, can be created. Example of ITC is given in the module. ITC could create a matrix based on the nature of products like cigarettes, hotels, textile, paper, etc. and geographies like North, East, West and South. Another way could be create a matrix using products and distribution channel like wholesale, retail, direct, etc. Understood? Next stage is to analyze segment attractiveness. The segmentation matrix could be used to evaluate profitability and performance of each of the segment. The interrelationship between various segments like distribution channels, similar products, etc. must also be considered while analyzing segmental attractiveness. Segmental attractiveness could be higher profit or better performance or good interrelationship between various segments. After analyzing segment attractiveness, identify key success factors for each segment. Key success factors means important elements or factors of an organization which are required to compete in the business environment or market. Each segment identified must be assessed with a relevant measure of performance. It could be quality of product, service, timeliness of delivery, etc. It is not advisable to use single performance measure across all segments, since a measure which suits the service segment will not suit the manufacturing segment. After measuring performance, identified key success factors of each segment will be used in the next step. Next step is to analyze attractiveness of broad versus narrow segment scope. The company must identify whether it wants to be in a broad segment or a narrow one. Narrower segments could be risky for a business since a single segment could be vulnerable to the competition. After this COVID-19 situation, narrower segment could be riskier. Multiple segments help a company to spread costs over the various segments. The company might also be in a position to use the competency of one segment in other segments. Some firms might abandon certain segments because of lack of profitability. The competitive advantage of each segment may be identified in terms of low cost and or, or product differentiation. Hope you are clear with the concept. hope you have learned from this video so please like and share the video comment if you have any doubt or a suggestion and don't forget to subscribe the channel keep watching keep learning in short it is quick thank you